everybody welcome to my channel i'm stuffed up since i cried if you don't know i was a good cry now <laughs> um my last chat oh there was an orb rewinds it back that was epic i'm not even doing it to part of love one whoa friday the 13th vibes my hand is tingling. Back up off me if you are in the light. You have to go through God first. To get to me, you have to go through God. I fear nothing but God's wrath. So, anything even evil out there, if you think that you can take on God, good luck with that. Because my God is fierce. And he will crush it. And I'm not worried. <laughs> Just putting those vibes out there for all of my collective as well. This is the juicy Friday the 13th. So I'm staying safe. And we're just going to do a love reading, okay? I'm, I'm going to do some more readings. But let's just start with love. I'm feeling somebody all over my back right now. There's like a, my medium is going off. I'm a psychic medium. There's a presence right here. They're touching my back. Mm -mm, back up off it. No, I don't like that vibe. We got karmic energy already. Love one is creeping on up. They're worried about your situation. You saved my life by showing me your worth. I never told you how I feel. The spirit. They never thanked you for helping them. I feel like this could have been, uh, it says, I'm scared to trust you. I feel like you're a player and once I sleep with you, you'll bow. This could be someone you dated that died. They never told you they loved you. This person could have uh, fucking fell in my lap again. They want to tell you how they feel. All right. This went left. This was supposed to be a lab reading. This seems kind of urgent. The blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. I'm activating you or I'm being activated. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know if I like this. We the Hathors. Okay. She is my guide. Hathor is here. Deep love. Mother's milk. This is someone's mother. Star Brothers. Horus energy in reverse. Sibling rivalry. Lifting the veil. Questioning everything. Anything unwind must go. What doesn't align with your path must go. There's a lot of misconceptions about Hathor. Hathor was a fierce protector. 
Nobody could go against Hathor unless you were God himself. She is a beast. But once she looks at you as a threat to all those she loves or somebody she cannot trust, she is your worst fucking nightmare. She will become the beast. She is both angel and beast. Hathor. Hathor turned into Sekhmet. In order for Sekhmet to go back to Hathor, they had to get Sekhmet drunk enough to forget why she was angry. That's the legend uh, in Egyptian mythology. Or Greek. Toss, coin toss. Everybody likes to claim shit, but it's, I feel it's Egyptians. Confirmation. Something just crashed in the other room. <laughs> um, Hathor, no wonder why I could feel you. But I felt the beast. Makes sense. I, she was laughing at me. <laughs> it's me. I'm here. Don't be scared. But uh, testing your senses at the same time. Because I'm being activated. You're being activated as well. Hathor doesn't just have one being and she's a guide to many so this could be your guide as well called oh my fucking god we're being called <laughs> soul gifts and training it's time to step up oh my god you're being called i'm being called the truth is being revealed to you this hathor is saying that all hathor Whoever she is a guide to, this is for a minute. Going left, we're being activated. My third eye hurts. <sighs> mm. Triangles. Something about that with your faith, this one says. Oh, there's another spirit here. There's someone's mom. Hathor and then a mother. I was confused because she's referenced as a mother energy, but there is a, there is an actual mother here. Hathor is like star keeper, cosmic ancestor. <laughs> you are all connected to Hathor, like me, a thousand walks on this earth. Hello, fellow general. I'm not alone here. This is a big place to lead. I can't lead the whole army, militia, whatever we're going to call it by myself. In real militaries, is there more than one general? Yes, the fuck there is. So, I'm speaking to my generals. <laughs> big picture thinking. Exactly, something's coming. There will be a pause, but there is something coming. Wait for a sign. Wait for your calling. You will feel it. You will know. We lost our way or something. Past life downloads. Right now, we're going to... There's a pause before things... We're being activated for whatever we need to be fighting against. So before you're activated, you're going to get all these massive downloads. Oh my god, I feel like someone is touching each side of my head like this. I really am being activated by Hathor. This is so weird. <laughs> live on, while I'm, well, I'm not live, but while I'm filming Earth. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Confirming that I am not fully human and neither are you. Star seeds rise, I just heard. Cracked, oh my god, cracked open. We're about to be released to do what we came here to do. But that involves finding your partners. So this is from my twin flames. Whoa, <laughs> that went left. <laughs> 
Holy shit, balls. Let's get back into the love reading. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Hathor, for visiting in this mother. If you don't have a deceased mother, it could be your person or future person's mother coming to kind of introduce yourself. And when you meet this person and you fall in love and you hear that their mother has passed away, you're going to be like, oh my God, she came to see me before we even met. Then this reading I got. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about how. You are feeling about your twin flame, and then I'm going to talk about how you're feeling, how your twin flame is feeling about you. So, how are you feeling about your twin flame? I just saw a half body appar apparition just waist down. Yes, it's real. It's not all in your head. Confirmation. This mother is confirming. You're not going crazy. Or this is Hathor confirming. Okay. So if you don't have... A, whoa. If you don't have a deceased mother, this is your future mother of your children. You've got a bad mama jamma who has like a bad higher self. This person probably doesn't even know that their high, higher self just took a field trip to tell you like your baby mama's like, it's real motherfucker, come and get me. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. Just the messenger. Also, a side note, it's Friday and I'm a shaman and I had to smoke me a, a little bit of a peace pipe. The ganj, okay? Well, I vape, so ganj oil. To just mellow out after that chat. So that's why my eyes are like this. <laughs> this, oh my god, I got a strong batch. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I think you, oh my god, I think you're worth it and I'm totally into you. I'm waiting for a sign to make my move. So, no, it's not fake. This shit is real. They love you, too. Why am I so wary? And I have the hiccups. Signs. Synchronicities. My throat shock is going off, too. They're, you're worth whatever it's going to take to be with you. To this person. I don't know what that is, but they're like, I'm in. Fuck it. <laughs> That's their energy. I, oh, my God. I no longer care what others will say. I want you. They don't give a shit. They are claiming you and you're not even together or what? I, maybe you are. But I doubt it if it's, yes, it's real. It's not all in your head. You're out for the quest. Sex, sex, sex. You want to sleep with them because you think you'll get it out of your system. How can you feel what you feel and still believe that? So you just think this is a sex thing right now. This could be dealing with an earth sign. You could be an earth sign or you're just trying to ground yourself because you're just like, you just want to, you either want it in you or you want to stick it in. And I'm just going to leave it there. Let your imaginations free. <laughs> I try so hard to impress you, but you never even notice when I'm around. You feel like this person doesn't give you the time of day. You're like, fuck it, bye. I don't give a shit. Who cares? You're thinking of marriage and... Oh, you want to marry this person. Oh my god. So you are... Okay. I think it's more than sex, but right now you really want to... You really want to make them... And make yourself fireworks out of parts. <laughs> Again, let your imagination go wild. <laughs> Me, I just went straight left and just pictured like a, a firecracker just coming out of a, a JJ. Like, pow. <laughs> That's my brain for you. Whatever. <laughs> Confirmation from that message that my brain really does have crazy thoughts like that. 
wouldn't that be weird if that's how women orgasm? Like if I, like when I went off, it was just like firecrackers, like <laughs> we wouldn't get away with faking it, would we? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? I need that vape is going in the drawer. It's going in there. Our fuck is. <laughs> All right, so how does your person feel? Speaking my truth. So they're either speaking truth currently or they want to. I feel you're too good for me, that I could never match how great you are. So they have you up on a pedestal. I want to work this out and start new. I want, between, I want peace between us two. So if there is any beef, they're like, I'm done. White flag, white flag. Whoa. <laughs> Can we just put parts in each other's parts? <laughs> what is this? Why can't I stop thinking about you? Why am I so pulled to you? They're like, why can't I get this person out of my mind? You're like, you're taking up space in their brains. My ear has been itching like crazy, like all the way deep in my ear. So I just keep trying to shake my face. It's not working. I think I have swimmer's ear. Ew, I hate swimmer's ear. Oh, it's going to hurt tomorrow. <laughs> I know you feel this connection too. Why don't you come forward? They're like, what the fuck? They're, you're both like, is this real? Is this real? I want you to put again in or out. Like, <laughs> You both, those thoughts, they're just going even now. Like, I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> I don't even know you two. Oh, shirt balls. That's why. I'm not sure this will go anywhere if I did put in the effort. That's the one thing. That's your roadblock right now. You're both like, if I give up all of this and I go towards this thing, or if I go towards this person and they reject me, like, you're kind of like, maybe it's just better to sit in the fantasy. No, it isn't. Go have your union. Get out of that fantasy and make it a reality. Okay? <laughs> that came out really harsh. I don't know. Maybe it's that mom energy again. I'm asking... I can read. I'm asking around about you. I'm watching your social media. I'm trying to learn everything about you so I can impress you when I make a move. Mm, stalky, stalky. At least it's for a good cause. You have to get out of your head. This is literally something they're saying to themselves. Like, stop thinking about this person. Ooh, bridegroom proposal. Look at you're matching. Both want marriage. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm going to reach out to you soon. I long to feel your touch. I keep hearing Usher. You make me want to leave the one I'm with. Start a new relationship with you. Knocked me off my feet. It's mad songs. Collages of songs. <laughs> That's in the, a lot of songs. Knocked me off my feet. Well, the essence of it, if it's not the exact same line. All right, let's see what's going on with your person. <laughs> they could be smoking the ganj. It's Friday, I'm home. What's, what's the worst that's gonna happen to me? I'm gonna get the munchies. Oh, scary. <laughs> but we have free spirit. Yeah, this person is just very spiritual. Very zen. Chilling out. Could be Aquarius. Chosen. Selected. It came out in reverse. So they're not um, either not choosing you and just choosing their peace. Or they're not healed. Why is this in reverse? I don't normally take these in reverse. Dreamscape. Hoping they return. This person's looking for a new love interest. But this looking for love, it pulled right at me. They're being peaceful. I think they're just having fun trying to meet someone new. Because they don't feel like 
this is ever going to be a thing. Again, they're questioning if it's real. Yeah, they're not making any movements because they're afraid to be crazy. I don't know why I heard that. They're afraid to, like, arrive to you and you just be like, what the fuck? Who are you? I don't know you. Make total cold shoulder vibes. So that's that energy of maybe it's just better to be a fantasy. But we have feeling a time crunch racing ahead of the competition. This person wants to find what they feel for you and someone who's in their real world that isn't a fantasy. So they're rushing towards love, hoping they find someone like you. But there is a 5D connection here. You are meeting up in the 5D. They are fantasizing about you. What's going on with you right now? Spiritual pull, spiritual guidance. Calling them in. They feel like home. Um, moving abroad. Maybe you live far away, but this person guides you. You're very inspired by this person. You follow them as well. We have Virgo energy. Something about June. You're looking into this person. Investigating your feelings. Maybe you're trying to work on impressing them as well. You're on a grind. You're throwing yourself into work. Or you have a lot of work to do that's keeping you from this person. Um, or you feel like this person is a loner or you're a loner. Making a plan in reverse. You don't know how to do that because you have either a lot of work or you're just not ready to allow someone into your bubble. Well, you have magic comes from within, showing the world your talent. I feel like you're doing something with work. You're on the grind with work. You just really don't have the time for this right now. But your your mind is always on this person. You're watching them a little bit butthurt. Or this is this karmic energy. You're frustrated. Maybe you're watching them from afar. Wishing that you could come towards this person. But for some reason you're on the grind. Or you're just not ready. I feel like you've given it to spirit. Like just let it. What will be will be. I'm looking for a sign energy. So let's see currently. What do we need to know. About this connection. What do we need to know. About this connection. Please and thank you. Authenticity. Grace. Beauty. Equality. It's got to be equal give and take. And I think. Um, right now, you guys are just focusing on loving yourself, trying to figure things out. New experiences in reverse. You guys aren't willing to leave comfort zones or put yourself out there. You're trapped in fear. You're trapped in your worries. You're drowning in your thoughts. Questioning your sanity even. Yeah, this is spirit. You definitely had a spirit come and visit you. Um, you... Could be getting messages from each other through music, but this is definitely a 5D connection. You're meeting up at night. With stars with the Aquarius energy. You could be feeling each other at night or having dreams about each other at night. There's that juggling. Just throwing you guys... You're, you're throwing yourself into your career because you want to throw yourselves at each other but you're scared or there's a lot of stuff that is keeping you from that yeah you're indulging in what makes you feel good I feel like this is a double-sided message like as far as spiritual wise you're you're learning to love yourself you're learning to grow but you're also overindulging in things that aren't good for you overworking overthinking this person is unlike anyone you've ever met. And that's the draw here. This is what keeps pulling each other back. Or pulling you back to each other. My dyslexia kicked in. Okay, so you're you're both sp 
You're both spraying to spirit. You're both praying to spirit. Damn, my cactus cooler. <sighs> Knocked me on my ass a little bit. That's what the the kind is called. Praying to God, like, what do I do? Like, is this real? Alright. Oh. Family. You, one of you could have a family. Um... Or you're meant to have a family with this person. But this, this to me reads, you're loyal to each other even though you think it's a fantasy. Hmm. Near future, what do we need to know? You're going to be like very zen within yourself. You're going to figure yourself out, which means you're going to figure out what you want and make a decision here. And be in peaceful energy. Okay, yes. Coming out of the trapped fear. Mastering your emotions. I like this for you. Still longing for each other. Still curious about each other. But I think you're doing a lot of personal work. Um, so you're not going to come together and fall. Because, um, to me, this is like you need a break to rise in courage, rise in strength, um, come into your power. Could be traveling a lot together, or one of you is going to travel. It's, this is the Divine Masculine card. So, in the near future, the Divine Masculine is traveling to... The Divine Feminine. Yeah, Runner Chaser. Divine Feminine is going to be in the energy of I'm done with this. I'm finding new love. And this is going to light a fire under the Divine Masculine's ass because he's or she is not going to want them to move on or be with someone else. They're like, shit, I'm going to lose my, my chance. Oh my god, this is so strong I can't even see. Like, I feel like my eyes aren't open. I'm going to go right to bed soon. <laughs> That's the whole point, because I have insomnia, so I guess it's working good. I don't know. Yeah, talking in the 5D spiritual sex, you're having sex with each other at night. So if you're having, like, fantasies, if you're feeling stuff, if you're waking up with surprises, you, like, legit... You know, travel in bases in the 5D. <laughs> First base, second base, third base, cancer energy. Could be a cancer here, um, but this is healing. Still stuck in thought, still longing for each other. What? I need to explain. I need this explained. Why is runner and chaser here, but then... We still have a divide. I heard oceans apart. Okay, so it might be a long distance between the two of you. Okay, so if somebody has a family, they are they gotta leave a situation here, or this is a breakup. Um, tell me more. Stocking work. Okay, so both of you in the near future are running away from this because you feel like that energy of they put a spell on me or it's consuming my life. I'm taking a break. But spiritually, you're never going to be disconnected because you're twin flames. So I feel like in the near future, you might have a lot more spiritual awakenings. You might be... Um, experiencing spiritual sex. I don't know why I heard that. Um, distance. I don't know. This is the energy of traveling back and forth too. So I think, I think what they're trying to tell me, I designed this deck. Um, you might have to travel back and forth. So Although it might be getting serious, you're like still missing each other. And while you guys are apart, you are having spiritual booty. 
but we have breakup here. For some of you, if they have karmics, this is I'm running away from the karmic to be with you. Moving in your energy, moving towards you. Not wanting to stalk and lurk, but actually want to bring it into reality. So what do, overall, what do we need to know? What is coming in for this collective? Yeah, this is your person. Um, they're a part of your soul tribe. Support team spirit guides are going to help you through this. But I do feel like union is coming, so I don't know... This could be like your families are going to blend nicely or you're going to become each other's family. Yeah, change is coming. Changing partners, changing out of fear so that you can come towards each other. Happiness! Look at you guys. You're choosing each other. Le this breakup is from anyone who is against you. You're not running away from each other. You're not chasing each other. This is like equal give and take energy. Okay. Make it more sense now. It's like um, if anybody, like family members or friends that are like totally against this relationship, you guys are like, I don't really give a shit. We're going to be together. But this is Mother's Day. There's that Hathor energy. Um, some of you could... Be moving on to someone. That seems creepy, but it's not. Like, I don't know how to say it without it coming off creepy. But it's like you're, this person, if you have a mother, because I did feel a soul come in. They remind you of your mother, but it's not in, like, a sexual way. You know, it's like a... The way they laugh, maybe, or the way they smile, or a facial expression is like your mother's. Or it's like there by spirit, like to give you a piece of your mother back in your twin flame. <laughs> Something about a recognition of a deceased mother in this person. Not in like a big major way. It's not like they're like them, identical. It's like I, it's something they do, like a laugh, but it's comforting to you. It's like you have them back. And maybe you're going to have a child together that's your mother reincarnated. You're going to have to fight for this connection and it's going to be like walking a tight wire because I feel like you guys are apart, live apart, or there's a lot of adversity here. So it's going to be a fight. You just have to, is it worth it to you? It's going to knock you out of your solid safety bubble. Like your whole world, your world's going to shake up. Um, like literal mothers could be against this. Um, family feuds could be happening. If you have kids with other people, this could be like baby mama, new person drama. Let me see what this is about. Frustration, confusion, and reverse. Okay, so it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. You guys have to stay rooted and connected and have a solid foundation. But you're not allowing anybody family-wise. It's like you're uprooting. Even if it's just in your thought, you're not thinking that way anymore. But as any anything goes, when you're changing something in yourself, whether you're changing how you're thinking or feeling, that's kind of feeling like one day you're doing good and then one day you go backwards. It's healing is like walking on a tightrope as well I feel like I'm going to sneeze <laughs> um, just do your best it is growing it is sprouting but I think you're also waiting it's like you're waiting for a miracle to happen and you both might miss each other if you wait too long 
Um, but you are reaching milestones in your life that are going to make you happy. This is like self-confidence growing within yourself. And when it grows within yourself, it's going to give you confidence to go talk to this other person and see what this is. So we have Sagitta Sagittarius energy, something about summer or July. Reaching a milestone. Bridging a gap in reverse. You're still not able to come together. Maybe it's happy news. Maybe you're just, like I said, back and forth. Um, it's not ideal for the right relationship. You know, it's going to be even harder if you travel a lot or talent and success in reverse. Why is this in reverse? Love messages, fire energy. To me, this is on the low, low down, low down. Maybe someone's walking away from work or taking a break. They, they don't want to do this in the public eye. They don't want it to be. They might just walk out of work and just come be with you. They might just quit their job and be like, you know what? I'm moving. I don't want to be away from my person anymore. Making an offer. Feeling, yeah. Somebody could be coming in with an offer. Hmm. One more to close out this reading. Again with spirit guides. Okay, so you definitely do have some karmic energy, but your spirit guides, you know, they've interjected all over this reading. They're going to look out for you, especially Hathor here. This is a great, solid friendship. I think you just need to be friends for a while because one or both of you is still healing. Or you just want to both start as friends. Or you're going to appear as friends and keep your relationship secret for a while. Dealing with body issues, that's also a roadblock here. Not feeling good enough in the body. Capricorn energy in reverse. Time out. You're in the energy of, I want this to be, I want this to come together, but you can't. The movement is going to be halted. Again, I don't know if this is from a job or you live far away. It said keep going, so. Conjuring, keep, keep gaining that faith to go after things in life. You're protected by spirit. Rejection is God's protection. What's meant for you will never reject you. So don't worry. Don't fear rejection. Fear not. Winter, athlete, healthy. Something about winter. Maybe you're going to reach a goal weight in winter or you're coming to, into union in winter, which is not that far from now. Taurus vibes, road trip. Yeah, somebody's traveling to see somebody in winter. Or you'll be going on a road trip. Maybe you're traveling for the holiday. This is a divine connection, and they are hearing your prayers about this connection. They are going to guide you to each other. But you're not... Don't rely on tarot for this. you got to... Trust your own insights. Trust your own third eye. Like, tarot readings are always subjective. So, if you enter self-sabotaging energy or if you change your mind, this whole outcome is going to flop for you. It's just like, it's either encouragement that you're on the right path. They give you direction. They give you guidance. They give you hope. But it's all subjective. If you don't feel like it's good for you, if you don't feel like giving up on something, you got to trust those feelings. Just in general with tarot, tarot can be very dangerous if you put everything into it, if you rely on it, if you watch it too much, it can infiltrate. infiltrate. Um, so just make sure 
take a step back for a few days and just see how you feel and make sure you're in a healthy place with tarot before you take what you need to take from it because when you're in an un unhealthy place with tarot, you're going to just look for certain things and you're not going to get your true messages because you're just weeding out basically what you want to hear. So if you're doing that, that's an unhealthy situation with tarot. Just step back for a little bit. Get your thoughts in order. You don't have to go away forever. Like sometimes I take a break from tarot myself just to get a cleanse. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Sorry this went left in the beginning, but you know. I'm a psychic medium, so sometimes I set out to do tarot and spirit has other plans. I need to go to bed because I just got rocked, bro. Oh my god. First munchies. <laughs> Love and light. Boy!